Hello! Today I'll show you how to use one of the advanced features of the PID controllers in Dyna2 software, the Fit Forward. First, some basics. The PID controller regulates the speed of our Dyna based on error measurement. Error in this case is a difference between the speed set point and the speed feedback value. It goes like that. You press the throttle and disturb the system. The speed goes up. PID notices that the speed is too high and corrects it. Usually this workflow is satisfactory as the regulation takes a fraction of a second to get back to the stable state. However, in some cases, with vehicles that have quickly spooling turbos, we want to further improve the control. We can do it by providing some information about anticipated power change to the PID controller. This information is called Fit Forward. To set up the Fit Forward, we will first check that it is enabled in the controller. We go to Settings, Speed Control, and check the Fit Forward gain. Typically, it should be set to 1. Let's look again what's happening when we press the throttle. When the throttle goes from 50 to 100%, the controller output needs to rise from 0 to 50%. We can fit forward this knowledge to the controller. We open the fit forward setup and set the base output value to 50%. Next, we enable the multiplier 2 and set it to multiply the base value the way we noticed. 0% of base value at 50% of throttle and full base value at full throttle. We have a lot more options available here. Many multipliers can be used at once. We can use boost pressure, road speed, engine speed or any other channel you can imagine relevant. For now, we just stayed with only throttle. We enable the fit forward with this checkbox and let's see the difference. Much better, right? The same principle can be used with acceleration controlled sweeps if the turbo spool causes the engine to accelerate faster than we want for some RPM range. Thank you for watching.